Welcome back to another quick exercise with CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be modeling this object here. Let's get started. All dimensions are going to be in millimeters for this project. So let's start out by creating a new component. Select the top view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Select the center diameter circle. We're going to make it 150 millimeters. We're going to use the line command, make it a construction line. We're going to make the start in the center point, and make the length 135 millimeters. Close it off. Now we're going to use the center rectangle. Find the center point. You'll see a triangle in X. Start there. Let's go ahead and turn off construction. You can still do that while you're dragging it out. For the length, we're going to also make 135 millimeters. Hit the tab key. We're going to make the height 40 millimeters. Finish the sketch. Select the extrude command. And select the entire profile. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length and the distance is going to be 40 millimeters. We're going to add some fillets. Select the fillet command. Select the inside edge here and this edge. And we're going to make it 50 millimeters. We're going to use the fillet command once again. Select this edge, this edge, and make them both 20 millimeters. And the shape is starting to come together. Select the front view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Select the P key for project, and let's select this top edge here. Let's turn off the bodies. We're going to be left with this. Select the line command. We're going to select the line, and we want it to be 110 millimeters. Now we can also turn off show projected geometries for the time being. Select the three point arc. Select both ends and create the arc. Now let's add a dimension. We're going to make the radius 100 millimeters, excuse me, 100 degrees. Now let's add the line in the center, make it vertical until it also set, touches the midpoint. Let's finish the sketch. Turn on the bodies once again. Select the revolve command. Select this one half of the geometry. The axis we're going to select is going to be this blue line here, or the Z axis. Operation is going to be set to join, and it's set. Let's go ahead and select the top view once again. Let's create a sketch on a visible plane. And let's create the profile as follows. We're going to create two center circles. First circle, we're going to dimension to be 90 millimeters. And the second circle, we're going to dimension to be 40. Let's select the circle, the inner circle, and make it a construction circle. For now, I'm going to turn off the bodies. Let's use a center point slot. Let's select the outer edge of this circle and this circle. And we'll set it to be 20 millimeters. Let's use the horizontal vertical constraint. Select any one of these points, but ultimately we want the point to line up with the center point here. And now it's fully defined. Let's select this line and this line as well and make all of these lines construction. Now let's grab the line command. Start at this point here and drag it out to trace that line. Same thing here and trace that line. 
Let's finish the sketch. Turn back on the bodies. Let's use the extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Direction is going to be symmetric. Distance is going to be set to all. Operation is going to be set to cut. Last but not least, let's go ahead and use the pattern, circular pattern. Object type is going to be set to features. Select the extrusion we just created. Axis can be this inside circle here, or it could also be the Z axis. Let's select the Z axis. The quantity we want to be set to four. Compute type can be set to adjust. And that completes this exercise. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick and dirty exercise with CAD Jungle. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.